Magic Kingdom is the highest attended theme park in the world and for good reason. Serving as the signature park at the Walt Disney World Resort, Magic Kingdom has six highly themed lands jam-packed with rides and attractions. With the opening of Tron in 2023, the park now features five different roller coasters to go along with a bevy of dark rides and shows. So in this video, I will rank their top 20 rides and attractions at this popular park. Before starting the countdown, I need to note that this list will exclude special holiday parades and shows. These are available during the exclusive evening parties. While these are fantastic and well worth experiencing, I want this list to focus on the attractions available during the normal operating day. Number 20. Astro Orbiter This is one of the many Rotojet style attractions of Walt Disney World, but this is easily the best of the bunch. This rise perched atop the Launching Pad Restaurant and People Mover Station, roughly five stories above the ground. Then you can use a joystick to raise your rocket even higher, offering fantastic views of Tomorrowland. The views are extra special at night when the area's lights are on, and if timing works out, you may even get to see the nightly fireworks from up there. Number 19. Tomorrowland Speedway This track guide car ride is not one I recommend doing during the daylight hours. It's completely uncovered, and it bakes in the Florida sun. But it is a fun experience at night, especially if you ride during the Christmas season when the layout is adorned with twinkling lights and decorations. Then you also have a little racing element with all the tracks laid out side by side. Number 18. The Mad Tea Party This is the most dizzying ride at this park. You board a teacup, and if you use the central wheel, you can get these spinning at a frighteningly fast clip. Some of the other installations at Disney parks have a brake to prevent you from spinning too quickly, but not this one. And as a bonus, if you ride during a holiday party, there will be some special themed lights to make the experience all the more disorienting. Number 17. Tomorrowland Transit Authority People Mover This is an elevated train through Tomorrowland. You get a great bird's eye view of the area, including a rare inside look at Space Mountain and it's narrated to as a bonus. Up next would have been Snow White's Scary Adventures. This classic dark ride was removed as part of the massive Fantasyland expansion, but it was a solid attraction. It was on the shorter side, but it retold the story of the Snow White film. The physical sets were well done, especially the scene with the witch in the magic mirror. And if you want to experience this ride still, it is found at a few other Disney resorts across the world. Number 16. The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh This is another dark ride, this one going through the Hundred Acre Wood. I really like the first half. The bouncing scenes with Tigger are fun, and the astral projection effect with Pooh is really neat. The finale does get a bit zany with the heffalumps though. Number 15. Peter Pan's Flight This dark ride always has an awful weight, but if you can avoid that, it is an enjoyable ride. It's really short, but the suspended vehicles give the ride a different feel than the park's other dark rides. I like the miniature displays towards the start. Then the finale features Peter Pan battling Captain Hook on a pirate ship. Number 14. It's a Small World This boat ride is famous for its infectious soundtrack. It is sure to get stuck in your head. And this is a very long ride as well. Then you pass a series of cute displays for different countries. There's plenty to see in each scene, as there are dozens of dolls in each. Now unfortunately, this one doesn't incorporate the Disney characters like some of the other installations though across the world. Number 13. Mickey's Philhar Magic This is the best installation of this 3D show. This one features a physically expanding screen during the musical numbers, and the finale features a Donald Duck animatronic in the back of the theater. Then the music is as great as ever. Donald Duck steals Mickey's sorcerer's hat, and he goes on a fast-paced tour of famous Disney songs. The visuals and audio are perfection. Number 12. The Festival of Fantasy Parade This is a colorful and action-packed parade. You have fancy floats with plenty of movement. Then you have countless characters, some of which are on the floats. Others run down the midway. Then the music is well done as well especially with the characters and performers dancing in between the floats. Up next would have been Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. I loved this dark ride as a kid. 
It was faster paced than the park's other dark rides, and the zigzag track added a degree of mayhem. The visuals were simplistic, many of which were 2D cutouts, but the content was much different than what you'd expect from a Disney ride. You went on a joyride through a bar, and at one point, you get hit by a train, die, and end up going to hell. Fortunately, this ride still lives on in California at the Disneyland Resort at least. Number 11, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. This is a unique family coaster from Vacoma. It features rocking trains. This isn't too noticeable during the high speed sections, but you will get some swaying during the slower bits. The coaster section itself is on the shorter side, but there are two or three drops with a little punch in the back row. What elevates the whole experience though is the theming. The ride takes place around a mountain, and halfway through the ride, you head indoors for a roughly one minute show scene past the seven dwarfs harvesting gems in a mine. See my review for more, but this is a good coaster for all ages. Number 10, Under the Sea, Journey of the Little Mermaid. This is a wonderful dark ride. The sets are excellent. The main character animatronics have great detail to them. Then the sets are fully fleshed out with additional characters in the background, particularly during the Under the Sea section. Then the music is fantastic as well. This ride features all the famous songs from the animated film. Number 9, Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. This is a shooting dark ride. The one con with this version is that the guns are mounted, making it much harder to hit distant targets. Fortunately, you can at least use the joystick to rotate the vehicle to combat this. The environments have plenty of targets as you fire at a series of robots and zerg, and this is an easy one to max out your score if you do some research in advance. Number 8, Happily Ever After or Enchantment. These nightly fireworks displays are absolute eye candy. You have beautiful fireworks in the air, then the castle is decked out in fancy projection mapping effects, and most impressively, you have Tinkerbell flying through the air on a zip line at one point. Then these visuals are paired with some lovely music. Number 7, Haunted Mansion. This classic dark ride is very atmospheric. It's spooky without having any real jump scares. This ride gets better as it goes. It starts off a bit slow, but the second half features the iconic ballroom scene with these Pepper's Ghosts effects. Then the finale through the graveyard is ghosts and ghouls in every direction, all to the great Grim Grinning Ghost song. Number 6, Jungle Cruise. This is a safari boat ride that is 100% made by your guides. Fortunately, most of them are excellent and filled with corny jokes. Then the visuals are wonderful as well. It really feels like you're deep within the jungle. Then you have these nicely executed sets with a wide variety of large animal animatronics, and the Florida version is unique for featuring a temple scene through some ruins. Number 5, Big Thunder Mountain. This is a roller coaster themed to a runaway mine train. The layout wraps its way around a beautiful rocky mountain, concealing the layout and creating some really cool sight lines. Then if you ride in the back car, the layout has some sneaky good elements. Several turns offer solid laterals, especially because there's no seat dividers, meaning you'll be thrown across the row. Then there are some quick dips that'll give some decent pops of airtime. I have an entire review going more in depth, but this is one of the world's best mine train roller coasters. Number 4, Pirates of the Caribbean. This is one of the most detailed dark rides out there. You pass a giant pirate ship mid-battle, then you head through a bustling town scene loaded with detail. I am always in awe how many animatronics this ride features. It is absolute sensory overload, and you'll need multiple rides to take everything in. Then as a bonus, the ride also features a fun little drop towards the start for some variety. Number 3, Tron Light Cycle Run. This ride was a long time coming. It was announced back in 2017, but it was delayed a few years due to the COVID-19 pandemic. It finally opened in 2023, and it's now one of the park's best rides. The motorbike style seating is unique, and it amplifies the sense of speed. And this ride is a spectacle. The launch sequence is very theatric with the stylized blue lights, and there's a strong kick halfway down the launch. Then you have the sweeping outdoor turn beneath the canopy. It's a cool aesthetic any time of day, but it's extra special at night with the twinkling lights. 
then you head indoors for some swooping turns. They aren't too forceful, and the mid-course brake runs do sap some of your speed, but the visuals are neat as you pass through these energy gates, and later this double side screen towards the end. Then you also have an epic on-ride soundtrack from Daft Punk as well. The ride is a bit on the shorter side, but it does so many things well as I detail in a separate review. Number 2. Space Mountain The park's first roller coaster is still the best one here. This indoor coaster has modest stats, as the largest drop is just 26 feet tall, and the max speed is just 27 miles per hour. But this ride delivers a delightfully wild ride. The darkened environment definitely helps, as it enhances the speed and hides the elements. Then the elements are perfectly janky. The drops are sharp, delivering nice ejector pops. Then the turns are quick and will throw you sideways. The ride is not glossy smooth, but the well-padded trains prevent any discomfort for me. See my review for more, but this is a classic that has withstood the test of time. And coming in at number one is Splash Mountain. This log flume is absolute perfection. This one features a series of satisfying drops. There's the iconic plunge into the briar patch at the end that gives a pinch of airtime. But there are also some smaller drops earlier in the ride that can offer a tummy tickling sensation, particularly the pitch black one down to the laughing place. Then the visuals were incredible. The outdoor scenes took you past the well landscaped Chickapin Hill. Then the indoor scenes were loaded with animatronics. There was so much to see, and it was paired with a beautiful on ride soundtrack. Now, unfortunately, this ride was closed in its current form in January of 2023. Splash Mountain was based on Song of the South, which in short, has been deemed racist. So much so that the film is locked into the Disney vault. So it always perplexed me why Disney used this IP for a major e-ticket attraction in the first place. The park is in the process of converting the ride into Tiana's Bayou Adventure. The ride system will remain the same, so those aforementioned drops will be just as fantastic. Assuming this ride also features grand physical sets and a nice soundtrack, this is a very high likelihood of remaining my favorite attraction at this park. As I've said in a review, I fell in love with Splash Mountain not because of the IP, but rather because of how well done the ride was. So I am hopeful its successor can be equally as magical. So those are my top 20 favorite rides and attractions at Magic Kingdom. What are your favorite rides at this theme park? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this countdown, I would appreciate it if you gave this video a like and you considered subscribing because there'll be a lot more roller coaster amusement park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching.